an interesting trip. While 1991 triumphantly marked the 25th anniversary of Star Trek, it will also be remembered as the year that the Enterprise lost its most valuable member, Gene Roddenberry. Now, although his face was never before the camera, it was his creative genius behind the scenes that spawned a television series and the motion picture phenomenon that has affected everyone's life. When NASA needed a name for its first space shuttle, 400,000 Star Trek fans wrote in with the answer, and it was dubbed the Enterprise. Such is the impact of an unassuming sci-fi series that inspired a fan loyalty like no other in television or film history. Its worldwide fascination has led to hundreds of Trekker fan clubs and conventions, products ranging from t-shirts to toys, and a Star Trek attraction at Universal Studios. It was there that creator Gene Roddenberry, who passed away in October, explained the Star Trek attraction to audiences. These million or so people that follow it uh, don't follow it because the actors are the sexiest in the world or, or it's the best written drama or, and so on. They follow it because it says things that are near and dear to their heart. It says things that uh, we've got to all humanity on this planet. It's got to pull together, got to live together without hatred. As a man who once conquered the sky as a decorated World War II pilot, it's not surprising that Gene Roddenberry's soaring imagination would later create the Star Trek phenomenon. Visual. Silver divert all power to phasers. Too late. Hang on! But Roddenberry's legacy lives on. He took generations of viewers on a journey into space to boldly go where no man had gone before and introduced a cast of characters whose names became familiar to millions. Can you give me phaser power? A few shots, sir. Not enough against their shields. Where the hell are they? Admiral, the commander of the Reliant is signaling. He wishes to discuss terms of our surrender. Well, Gene Roddenberry, uh, was uh, the force that uh, created uh, Star Trek. Uh, his uh, creati creative abilities and his uh, desire for perfection all made Star Trek so much of what it is. Uh, and we're going to miss him very, very much. He was not only a dear friend of mine, but uh, he certainly changed the course of my life and in turn changed the course of many other people's lives, more than the public will ever know, except those who know themselves. And he will be missed deeply. Gene and I, uh, we knew each other quite well, and uh, I hadn't known him before Star Trek. You know, I hadn't met him. But uh, uh, we were kind of good buddies. I was a little older than he was, so I was able to tell him off every now and then. You know, to me, uh, I think uh, Gene has left uh, Star Trek in good hands with uh, the people that are in charge now. Michelle Nichols' friendship with Roddenberry inspired her to compose and record the song Gene. It was my tribute to Gene to let him know in all of these 30 years, how much I loved him and what I thought of him and his, what a powerful, wonderful, fantastic man I thought he was and he is. Gene Roddenberry lived to see the completed Star Trek VI film, but will this mark the end of the original family that he created? The studio would like you to think so, but what do the members of the Enterprise think? I love Star Trek, and um, I love the people in Star Trek, and um, I'm just, uh, I, I, I'm very sad that something like that is, is over and, and behind. I don't think there's going to be a Star Trek 7. I mean, I feel fairly confident that we, uh, that this is the last motion picture. I believe that we are really done. Uh, I would bet on it. I would bet my own money on it. Not a lot, but I would bet on it. It depends on how excited they get about this film. 
I think that creates a lot of excitement and, and makes a lot of money for Paramount. They very well could do another one. And the fact that the end of the film uh, was rewritten, um, <laughs> leaving that door open. Well, the only people that know are the people out there. They are the ones that are going to determine with the kind of support they give us at the uh, box office. And if it's good, yes, look out for Star Trek VII. One thing's for sure, this is the end of E-Feature, Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country. Now make sure you tune in next week when E-Feature's another new film. But until then, beat me up, Scotty.